If you're planning to study in Australia and uh, you're worried about the process, then this video is for you. Hey lovely people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Masi. Thank you for clicking on this video. I really do appreciate your support. In today's video, uh, we're going to be talking about a student visa, the process um, of a student visa, uh, because uh, last week I did a video on um, how to migrate to Australia. And of course, a student visa is one of the visas that can enable you to migrate to Australia. I got a couple of DMs uh, when it comes to student visa and I thought I should do um, a separate video uh, addressing uh, a student visa. If you like this kind of content, uh, don't forget to like this video, share this video with your friends as it does help with the growth of this channel. Thank you. A student visa will allow you to study in Australia, travel in Australia, in and out of Australia, and uh, work in Australia. And it can also include um, your uh, spouse, your partner, your children who must be uh, below 18 years. So uh, if your partner is in Australia, he or she is a student, you can migrate to Australia uh, using the student visa. And um, so the first thing that you need to do is applying for the school. And uh, it is very important to note that almost all universities, they have their representatives um, in almost every country. So if you want to study in Australia, you want to go to a uh, University of uh, Western Australia, you want to go to ECU and all the other universities, there are representatives of those uh, universities in almost every country. And uh, you can use uh, them you can use them to apply for a student visa and i must mention that they, they are free their services are free but at the same time you can use an agent if you have a trusted agent you have someone you trust you know you can always uh, use that use an agent as well you just have to be very careful you don't fall into the hands of scammers because there are so many scammers online lying to people that oh i'm gonna help you get a student visa to whatever country you know if you feel that you don't have um a trusted agent you can always use the school's representative in your area or in your country so uh, like I say the first thing you need is to apply for the school you need to identify the course that you're gonna be studying what is the course that it, what is that course that is suitable for you identify the course go to the school website online check the details the documents what are the documents that are required in that particular course? How much is the school fees? All that information, you're going to find it online. So in any case, even if you're using uh, an agent, you can always compare whatever they're telling you and whatever the school is saying uh, um, in their website. So the next thing, the next thing you need to, uh, to know is uh, the English test. You must pass your English test for you to get a, uh, a student visa here in Australia. Uh, in most cases, you're not going to get a visa or you're not going to get a, um, admitted in a school without passing uh, your English test. So uh, there are so many English tests. There is PT, there is IELTS, there is ETS, and there is CAE. So check uh, from the school website again, check what is the pass mark required for the English test for the particular course that you're studying because of course uh, different courses uh, have uh, different uh, English uh, pass marks. The next thing that you want to check is uh, check uh, the um, collect all the documents that, uh, that shows that you are financially stable or you are able to sponsor yourself when it comes to being an international student here in Australia. Uh, are you able to pay your school fees? Are you able to pay your accommodation, food, transport, and all the other things involved in being an international student? Of course, that is a, a bank statement, your bank statement, uh, or it could be your um, family, your, your, your parents' bank statement, or a close relative bank, bank statement. And uh, I think that could be uh, your brother, your sister. I don't know, I'm not sure about your uncle's bank statement but what i know is that uh, it could be your bank statement your parents bank statement or your brother or your sister a close relative can sponsor you to um to study in australia 
So doing all that, that is uh, identifying the course that is suitable for you, identifying the school, checking on the school website, the documents required, the school fees required, checking uh, your English, have you passed your English? Are you able to sponsor yourself or do you have someone who can sponsor you? Do you have someone who can give you uh, their bank statement that is uh, a close relative? The next thing you need to do is um, uh, pay the first installment and apply for the school. And uh, that is uh, paying uh, the first semester. Most likely it's gonna be the first semester uh, school fees. And uh, once you pay, once you apply and once you pay the school fees, you're going to receive a document that is COE, Confirmation of uh, Enrollment. This is, um, this is a very important document and uh, it will have um, the commencement date of, of the school, the duration of the course, and uh, how much school fees you have paid and how much school fees is left. So that is a very, very important document that you will receive from the school once you uh, apply and pay for the first installment of the school fee. The, the next very important thing is uh, overseas uh, a student health cover. This is really so important. You're not gonna get any visa without this uh, in student health cover. And uh, there are so many of those online. You can uh, check online and compare them uh, and see which is suitable for you. At the same time, is if you're gonna be using an agent, uh, an agent of course uh, will advise you accordingly. Your private agent, they are in a better position to advise you on the, um, the overseas health cover for students. It is really so important for you to have um, health insurance cover when you are migrating uh, to Australia as a student. The next thing you will need uh, is a health certificate that is uh, the medical medical you you need to go for your medicals and um, your agent as well is gonna advise you or uh, it's gonna give you more information when it comes to uh, medical getting um, a medical certificate the next thing you need to get is um, police clearance uh, this this is really so important you know, you're not gonna uh, migrate uh, to Australia without uh, police uh, police clearance the next thing you will need is writing a statement of purpose this is where you need um, more details about yourself and uh, uh, give more details about educational and financial background and another thing that you'll need to write on this uh, statement of purpose is uh, why why Australia why have you chosen to come and study in Australia instead of any other countries? Last but not least is uh, applying for the visa and uh, that is uh, creating an, an email account and applying for the visa. And of course, if you're using an agent, they will advise you further. They will give you more information. Probably there are um, more information that I've missed uh, in this process, an agent will be able to advise you further. If you're using the school uh, representatives in your area, they will still uh, advise you more. We've come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate your support. And um, next time, uh, that is next week, I'll probably do a video on um, how much does it cost being an international student here in Australia? And if you're keen on watching that video, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, subscribe to this channel. It does help with the growth of this channel. And uh, please don't forget to be kind to one another. It doesn't cost anything to be kind to one another. That is a message we are spreading uh, in the, this year, the year 2021. If you cannot say good things to people, you cannot encourage someone you cannot say anything positive, please. Just say nothing. It doesn't cost anything to be kind to one another. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you. If there's only one thing you remember from me, child, when you're